Hi guys, got this story for you today. We haven't had a story about a warlock in a while, so I thought this one was pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you at the end of the video. Be me. Low rolling sadistic DM. I like to watch people suffer, but the dice won't let me. Be not me. Barbarian half-orc who dumped all her points into constitution because more health equals better. Dumber than rocks. We checked. Boblin the goblin rogue. <laughs> Likes shiny things and stabbing people. Doesn't know or understand common. Has an amazing player who loves roleplay. Also, my party favourite. Don't tell anyone. Human paladin and companion to Boblin. Got roped in with Boblin trying to save him from getting burned at a stake. Now he has to make sure Boblin behaves. Can do an animal handling check to communicate with Boblin. Players get a quest to kill a group of assassins in their hideout. Their hideout entrance is in a kitchen used by a fancy restaurant. Party waltzes in the restaurant. Paladin wearing a gold trimmed armour set. Looks like decorative armour but actually isn't. It's heavy and unpractical. Looks tired after having to deal with Boblin's shit for the entire day. Boblin wearing leather armour with a dark hood covering his face. The hood has a pink flower in it since they are in a fancy restaurant after all. Barbarian wearing rags barely covering her privates. The rags are washed and not bloodstained as they usually are. Has a rose gold hairpin in her hair. Paladin asks for a table and some service while Barbarian and Boblin try to act fancy. Roll performance check. Boblin, natural 20. Barbarian, 3. While Boblin sits quietly sipping some tea while pretending to read the menu, the Barbarian bends a knife that springs back and ends up being launched into the kitchen, hitting someone in the process. The sound of pots and pans dropping can be heard soon after. Chef comes out angrily and shouts who threw the knife at him. Barbarian says she's sorry. Chef comes up to her and drags her into the kitchen. Boblin continues to sip tea, taking a short pause to steal some cookies from another table. Their table already had cookies but Boblin wanted other people cookies. While in the back of the kitchen, the chef tells Barbarian she has to clean up the mess she made. There were pans everywhere, even a pot of chilli that was dropped. Barbarian starts cleaning up. Five assassins walk in on her cleaning. No witnesses, Duckgif. Assassins go at her with poison daggers. She resists all poisons and due to thick health pull and high constitution, she beats them up. The bulk of assassins' damage come from the poison and some daggers won't do much against a large health pull. Chef comes back, a look of horror on his face. Did you kill my fellow brothers? Barbarian looking at Chef. Apparently your brothers are assassins. They tried to kill me. Good thing I tenderized their face before they did the same to you. Totally not a fellow assassin, Chef looks at Barbarian. Seems so. As a reward, why don't you leave the cleaning to me and return to your friends? I'll give you the house special for free. Roll a wisdom check. One after modifiers. Barbarian thanks Chef before exiting the kitchen with a smile on her face. At the table, Paladin is amazed that Boblin is behaving. Boblin sips tea while pretending to read the menu as he cut holes in it in order to spy on others. <laughs> <laughs> Barbarian returns to the table, says how the chef promised her a great meal after she cleaned the kitchen for him. Chef personally comes out with Barbarian's meal. Looks like a thick cut of steak that has been garnished with herbs and sauce. Paladin gets coffee. Boblin got whatever dishes he could steal. Call it the thieves platter. Consists of bits from other people's tables. Some garlic bread, brown sauce, cookies, tea, dried fruits and bat ear. Everyone digs in. Barbarian. As you eat you feel your tongue go numb. Roll on a constitution saving throw. 20 after modifiers. Your tongue still numb. Nothing seems to happen. Players ask if this is poison of some sort. Roll 3 on in intelligence. Must be the herbs or spices. You aren't used to fancy food after all. Barbarian eats entire dish, which had enough poison in it to kill three elephants, and tells the server to compliment the chef. Suddenly they get surrounded by assassins. They mop the floor with the assassins. Boblin literally mopped the floor with one of them. Boblin torches the restaurant while Paladin isn't looking. They all run out. Boblin looks at Paladin with a smile as the restaurant burns behind him. Paladin doesn't have enough fucks to care. Uses the heat to warm his coffee. Barbarian sprints into the burning wreckage to rescue Chef. Barely gets him out of there before the building collapses. Almost dies in the process. 
After Chef gets outside, he turns around only to see his entire restaurant burning down. At this point, he swears vengeance against the barbarian who killed his fellow assassins and the entire clan. Barbarian offers Chef to join them on their journey through the Blooming Valley in order to deliver news about the assassin's demise. Chef accepts with an evil smile. Paladin casts Detect Evil on him while Chef isn't looking. Yep, he's evil alright, he says to himself while sipping coffee while looking at Bob and play with the fire. After travelling for a few hours, they set up camp at the start of the Blooming Valley. A valley filled with vibrant plant life and a large variety of animals. Chef offers to make food for his rescuers, tells him to find a bunch of flowers, herbs and some meat. He wrote down what they looked like on a piece of paper. Boblin recognises some of the flowers and herbs as extremely poisonous, tries to tell a paladin about it. Paladin gets a 19 on his animal handling check. With a short visual act of Boblin pretending to eat flowers and dying, the paladin realises what is about to happen. He heads straight to the camp where the chef is starting a campfire and preparing some pots. Asks chef if he can make some coffee. Chef asks why. Because I'm taking the first watch. Fair enough, the chef says. Your coffee will be ready as soon as I have this campfire going, he continues. When the coffee was done, the paladin checks it for poison using detect poison and disease. Coffee, although strong, has no poison in it. Paladin takes a sip. Looks at Chef, he seems a bit nervous. Good coffee? How did you know I like mine strong? The paladin questioned. Well, judging from the rings around your eyes, you're tired. And since you're taking the first watch, she seemed to need a bit more energy. Also, I might have accidentally put too much in, he says while looking relieved. Paladin rolls an insight check to see if the totally not assassin Chef is telling the truth. 18. He seems honest with what he's telling you and the wet tin of coffee he probably dropped in the kettle supports that. He looked nervous as you drank it, but got relieved as you said the coffee was good. Everyone comes back with ingredients, Boblin managing to get an even more poisonous flour than what the chef was requesting. Gives the chef a wink. Chef winks back. Paladin on guard while Barbarian takes a leak and Boblin does Boblin things. Paladin notices that Barbarian's steak is cooking in a pan, separate from the others. He also has more herbs and flowers in that one. Asks Chef why. Well, while you guys are a team, only one of you rescued me from my burning restaurant, so I'm making her platter a bit more special. Paladin checks if he's lying, rolls natural 20 on insight. The flowers and herbs used in the barbarian's dish differ from yours and Boblin's. He's also keeping them separate. He speaks with a disdain in his voice only when the barbarian is mentioned. He seems to not bear any ill will against you or Boblin, but has a lot of hate for the barbarian. Also, he's lying about the part where it was his restaurant. The tool set he brought with him indicates he had a low rank in the business. The bell rings as they get down to eat. Paladin sits next to Barbarian, with a greater health potion ready. Barbarian eats entire steak in a single go, and proceeds to lick the plate of any sauce and herbs. You feel your tongue go numb as you get a headache. Rolls a constitution check, 26 after modifiers. It quickly passes. Roll an intelligence check to determine if it's poison, minus five after modifiers. Chefs are really something. That spice is awesome, the barbarian shouts. Chef is nervous. Ask barbarian if she liked her meal. Hell yeah I did. I never tasted something so amazing ever. You really have to tell me the secret to your spice. Chef looks strangely relieved before saying, Such words of praise are wasted on me. The chef turns to the others and asks them how the meal is. Paladin says it's a nice change from what they're used to. Boblin lying down replies with a burp and a thumbs up while rubbing his belly. Months of this happening, the chef trying to poison the barbarian only for her to resist it and tell him how great his food is after failing an intelligence check. Paladin checking if the poison ever spreads to the rest of the party. The chef even trades beef jerky for poisons with Boblin. Eventually the chef seems to enjoy himself around the party. Still dislikes the barbarian but has grown close to the others. The paladin being a really nice person, helping him and everyone they meet. Boblin being Boblin doing what Boblin does best, stabbing, stealing and trading beef jerky for poison. Then it happens. The chef makes a poisonous soup out of poisonous snakes, mushrooms, a few dozen vials of poison, 
and replacing the water in the recipe with methanol. Wood alcohol, really nasty stuff. Topping with a few dashes of cobra venom and some decorative death lilies and a single thinly sliced piece of licorice on the side. Paladin is out shopping. Boblin is out doing Boblin things. Barbarian rules a natural one on constitution save. Takes 300 points of poison damage. Goes unconscious. Going to feel every death saving throw due to poisons in her system. Chef laughs as he's finally won. The laughter stopping as he realises what he just did. The months of adventures they had been through. A few times the barbarian rescued him from falling prey to some evil overlord and their insane plan to rule the world. The time she rescued him from a burning building that meant nothing but pain and suffering to him. The same building he was looked down at for being a lower caste. The same building they forced him to become an assassin. The same building they refused him to do his true passion for cooking. Being so close to his dream, yet so far away. He then remembered his journey with his friends. The journey through the blooming valley and all the ingredients they got him, the looks he got as he prepared the most amazing foods for them, the joy in their faces as they ate it, even minute details like how the paladin liked his coffee black or that Boblin loved jerky served on the side, how the barbarian praised him for his spice even though it was deadly poison. Chef starts crying before going into a panic in order to rescue his friend. One out of three death saving rolls fail. Chef tries anti-venom and a healing potion. Both had no effect. Two out of three death saving throws fail. Paladin comes back to the chef begging him to help him fix it. Paladin does every spell he knows in a desperate attempt to rescue his friend. Even calls upon his god for help. He rolls a d100 for divine intervention. The last breath escapes from the barbarian's lungs as her eyes roll back and she feels her last death saving throw. At this point, Boblin comes in, sees what's happening, goes quietly up to the corpse of his dead friend and cries while holding her hand. Both the paladin and Boblin look at the chef who is broken, killed his only true friend. After all, he was an assassin, not a chef. The others would be proud. A thought that made him sick. He had become what he ran away from, nothing more than a lousy assassin. He could never have become a great cook serving meals to the Emperor himself, his dreams lying shattered at his feet alongside his dead friend. The chef looks up and shouts to the heavens, Give me my friend back, I beg of you! He shouts at the sky. I instruct the barbarian to roll a d100. He rolls a one. A voice answers you, the voice coming from everywhere at once. Everything for a price. Anyway, that's how our barbarian became a warlock assassin cook on a quest to get his friend who he killed back from the cold clutches of death. You know, regular d and things. I realise now that our sessions get weird quickly. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. Haven't done anything with Wargawks in a while. I might go back, there's a story we did a while back with the Wargawk in it, and I'd love to go back and redo it. I might link it down, but we'll just see what happens. I but, like Boblin. Yeah, Boblin. I wish I used that um, in the campaign. In the we, run. Run. we took a goblin as a pet, and I wish we called him Boblin yeah. instead of Ratbag. Yeah, it was Ratbag, it was rat bag, so it was. But like maybe maybe another time. I'd love to play a goblin. I, I love the idea of them. I love the characters. I, I wish there was more of Boblin in this stream. Yeah. Yeah. I want a solo story of Boblin. <laughs> I know. I want a fucking spin off show, sweaty. <laughs> Fuck's sake. I would love to see that Netflix original for fucking <laughs> Goblina, it would be. <laughs> but look, enough of that for now. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Check out the Discord. What else should we plug? We got NordVPN. Wait, sure, we're going to plug all this shit. Yeah, plug it all. Plug it all. We haven't, I haven't plugged anything in fucking ages, so I'm going to plug, all right? We got NordVPN. Make we got t-shirts. Make a Wix website with Wix. Wix. No, we don't, no, we don't actually have Wix. No. But look, like, uh, we got NordVPN, we got t shirts, we got models, we got like you know, we got loads of shots. So go just check look out. in the description. Yeah, just check the description. There's even like a coupon code for like twenty five percent off. So like look, you never know. And I never shell, so I don't even feel bad about this. I know. Yeah. So So yeah. See you later. Enjoy. Bye. Oh.